We're gathered here on this special day on the 4th of Janu January 2018, Las Vegas, Nevada, to bring both of you together as husband and wife. Go receive your future wife, sir. Okay. Stand where you want to be standing. Good. Take his arm. Okay. Good. Again, allow me to express my congratulations. Thank you. Thanks. You know, as a minister, I don't believe in luck or chance or coincidence. I believe in purpose. This marriage was meant to happen. It's a good purpose. And just give yourself some time. It's going to continue to reveal itself this good purpose. But the main reason you're standing here is because of love. And that is the best reason to enter marriage. Love. So let's think about this word for a moment. For you see, it is love that that's going to keep this marriage strong. And I believe the word deserves a few moments of thought. Three types of love between individuals. There's a love that says, I will love you if it doesn't work, love with conditions. Then we have another one that says, I will love you because of, no good, love with conditions. Finally, we have one that says, I will love you in spite of. This one works. However, let me warn you, very demanding, but it works in unconditional love. And this is love where I hope both of you choose to express in this marriage. Your love unconditionally, no strings attached. It's an ongoing love. It's not a selfish love. In fact, if you commit yourself to this love, you're going to find out it's a sacrificial love. It's going to take a lot of sacrifice. But it's worth it, and it works. But it's going to take the commitment of both of you to this marriage and to this love to make it work. Allow me to read a brief description on this type of love, this unconditional love. And I quote, Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoices in the right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. And now we have with us faith, hope, love, these three. But the greatest of these is love. End of quote. And my hope is that it is this type of love that will be expressed in this family. Turn around, face each other. Take it to the There you go. Did you take Misty to be a lovely wife this afternoon in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, for rich or old, for poor, to walk with her as a friend, partner, lover? Provider, protector, husband. Do you take her as your wife? I do. Let's do. Take Mike as your husband, also in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, for rich or for poor, to walk with him as a friend, partner, lover, wife, a wife that will stand with him. Do you take him as your husband? I do. I believe both of you want to express a few words, and sir, you go first. <laughs> well, it's been 77 days, and it was $77 to get the marriage license. <laughs> and uh, on the second date, you told me we were getting married, and I said I do. <laughs> and I couldn't think of, I mean, when you know, you know. And I haven't been more sure of anything in my life. And uh, absolutely, how we get along on so many levels, our experiences, our past, um, mistakes, and things we've done right. Um, we love each other on so many levels, emotionally, physically, spiritually. I'm just, you get me, I get you. We have such good communication. We work through differences, the small ones that they are. We just get through things. I love you so much, and I want to be committed to you for the rest of my life. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to cry. Uh, 
I obviously told you from the beginning that I knew you were the one for me. It, like you said, everything with us has just been right. It's, and it's not that it's easy, it's that it's right. And we both do have a lot of experience and to be able to know that. And I couldn't thank you more for how wonderful you are to me and to my puppies. <laughs> and <laughs> I just, I thank you for being you and I love you for you. And I'll always love you for you. Oh, thank you. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life. Seal this commitment. But at the same time, they're symbols. They symbolize love. An unbroken love, an eternal love, a love that you're about to commit toward one another. My hope is, as you view these rings on a daily basis, may they remind you of this commitment you're about to make. Is that hers, right? Yep. <laughs> Place the ring. Say her name and look at her. Misty. I give to you my promise. I give to you my promise. That from this day forward. That from this day forward. You shall not walk alone. You shall not walk alone. With this ring. With this ring. I give you my heart. I give you my heart. I have no greater gift to give. I have no greater gift to give. I promise I shall do my best. I promise I shall do my best. I shall always try. I shall always try. I feel so honored. I feel so honored. To call you my wife. To call you my wife. Micah. I give to you my promise. I give to you my promise. That from this day forward. That from this day forward. You shall not walk alone. You shall not walk alone. With this ring. With this ring. I give you my heart. I give you my heart. I have no greater gift to I give. Have no greater gift to give. I promise I shall do my best. I promise I shall do my best. I shall always try. I shall always try. I feel so honored. I feel so honored. To call you my husband. To call you my husband. Well, in a few moments, that's going to become a reality, husband <laughs> and wife. Congratulations again. And you know two people in love, like the both of you? You made a good choice here. Thank you. Just do me a favor and do yourselves a favor. Don't ever take this love for granted. And don't allow anybody, anyone, or anything to come between the two of you. And I'm talking about family, friends, money, beliefs, children, well, this can go on and on. Don't let them divide you. For you see, true love is not easily found in this world between two people. I have a feeling both of you are well aware of this fact already. On this special occasion today, which is Mark anniversary, allow me to express a brief prayer for this marriage that God may bless it and protect it for many years. Shall we pray? Father, bless this marriage. Protect this couple. Give this couple many years of happiness. And may others learn from their good example. For once again we ask these things in thy name. Amen. Amen. By the authority given to me by the state of Nevada, it's my pleasure, it's my honor to pronounce you husband and wife. Thank you. Kiss your wife, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, the newlyweds.